everybody! Another story for you today and this one is called Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time Jack's mother asked Jack to sell their cow Daisy. So I want you to pull your cow all the way to the market. It was a hard thing to do to sell their cow because they had no money. But a wise old man came up to Jack and said, I'll buy your cow for these magic beans. Jack couldn't believe his eyes and he gave the old man Daisy the cow and took the beans home. He was so excited that when he got home, he told his mum, look, look, I've bought some magic beans for the cow. But his mummy was so upset we have no money and no food. And she chucked the beans out the window. That night, whilst Jack lay sleeping, something amazing happened. A beanstalk grew and grew and grew and grew and grew, and grew out of Jack's bedroom window. The next morning, he decided to climb the beanstalk. Oh, oh, the beanstalk went right into the clouds and at the top was a castle. Jack tiptoed into the castle. Inside, a giant was eating his lunch. He started to feel tired as he counted all of his gold coins. Eventually, he fell asleep. Saw the gold coins and stole them. Hiding in the oven, he waited for the chance to run back home. But the giant woke up. And he saw that his coins were missing. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an English man. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Jack, with the golden coins, ran as fast as he could out of the castle and back down the beanstalk. The next day, he decided to go again. So he climbed all the way up to the top. He opened the door to the castle. Again, he saw the giant eating his lunch. He started to get very tired, but he was stroking his magic hen who lay golden eggs. Jack tiptoed in, stole the hen and hid by the oven, waiting for his chance to run away. The giant woke and noticed that his magic hen had disappeared. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an English man. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Jack, with the hen, ran as fast as he could and back down the beanstalk. The very next day, Jack couldn't resist and visited the castle one more time. He climbed all the way to the top. He 
open the door. And again, he saw the giant. Eating his lunch. He then had a golden harp that played magical music. Jack tiptoed into the castle and grabbed the harp. But as he grabbed it, Woke the giant up. <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. The giant chased Jack out of the castle and Jack scrambled down the beanstalk and grabbed his father's axe and he went chop and chop and chop and chop and the giant fell and hit the floor and that was the end of the giant but jack and his mother lived happily ever after with all their gold coins their magic hen and the beautiful harp that played lovely music. Have a go at acting out the story yourself and I'll see you again soon. Bye!